Oh, welcome back my gardening friends and I'd like to welcome all my uh, new subscribers to my channel and uh, the BBC have taken an interest and may consider doing a little bit of filming on my allotment and uh, why not pop a comment down why you watch my videos why, what interests you that I share as we walk into uh, plot one uh, this is a uh, a pallet which we turn into a gate and as you can see here we've got lots of timber that uh, was dumped outside somebody's property so I helped myself with that uh, all those years ago and I've created these uh, from damaged water barrels as uh, containment for uh, my plants and these bits of plastic pipe are off cuts and I use those uh, to water the plants well below uh, the ground level so the water gets to the plant uh, where it needs to and as you can see there I create my own larger labels using correct signs that have no longer got a use and we put a little bit of yellow tape on it and use an, uh, a marker pen there an Edding 750 to uh, make sure we know what they are. They tend not to blow away, they might fall over if I put my big feet on them. But that's uh, a little bit of recycling there. These pipes were off cuts that I managed to uh, beg borrow. Some of the plastic uh, on this allotment is bought, but it does a, a, a cracking job. Uh, the wood chips are free. We keep adding them every year when we can get them and after three years we can harvest those and they uh, make an ideal addition to uh, the compost mixes here we've got uh, the uh, blackberries and we used some wire that wasn't used on a fencing job that was uh, going to be uh, put uh, in the scrap bin. I uh, repurposed that. And these green straps are single use lifting straps. They can't be used again. I presume it's very similar to the one ton bags. Can you remember when we, uh, before, when they used to have a deposit on the one ton builders bags? Somebody had a nasty accident, they broke. So now they're single use, similar to these. So there must have been an accident and they said no you can only use them as single use so i repurpose them here it saves them going to landfill gives them an extra life pallets can be really useful for constructing lots of things on our allotments from compost bins to manure bays etc you need to use as much as you can where you can and the uh, corex uh, there just helps the uh, support the uh, rhubarb um, I'm going to be clearing this area in a future video uh, for a new polytunnel that uh, I've got coming here we've got uh, some a frame that we use to help protect the uh, strawberries and this frame uh, was a uh, some old grow tents or something similar and I adapted them to suit uh, my needs and uh, it works really well I recycle as many pallet collars as I can find that get thrown away uh, to create uh, the uh, the raised beds um, at work they have um, this really thick cardboard which uh, the worms uh, do really love when it's a little bit warmer and these bits of timber are normally thrown away but I find them really useful uh, to be able to grab like that so uh, I collect those that saves them going off uh, repurpose I'll repurpose them first and then uh, some wheelie bins some of these I keep up here I've been given or bought no given I don't buy much guys uh, for spares and they make ideal containers um, for uh, materials or the uh, 
for putting the perennial weeds in when we drown them in water. Lots going on here at the moment. It's been far too wet to get any work done. I've seen a lot of people moan about their allotments being flooded. Better to, the allotment to be flooded than your house. Bear that in mind. These are my manure bins. These are made out of pallets, uh, discarded uh, plastic sheeting to collect the rainwater, and the uh, the worms are absolutely uh, uh, loving this at the moment. And it looks like there's a little bit of uh, uh, rat activity, but the, the worms seem happy coming to the surface because it's probably too hot. And uh, we use the uh, IBCs that are damaged, that can't be used for water collection as uh, to collect uh, the uh, manure runoff again it's been so productive that uh, it's uh, overflowing again collecting water so we've got uh, five barrels here collecting water from uh, those uh, two uh, little roofs uh, we've got the uh, nettle plant food there in that one uh, the manure runoff that you've just seen in uh, those two and sitting in that little space is one of the loft water tanks that is sitting on a, a spare water barrel and that uh, has got the wick guttering system so basically we've cut the wick pulled it through a hole in the bottom of the tank created a hole in the blue barrel and the wick then sucks up the moisture into the barrel to save me watering I'm a devil for picking anything up that people put in front of their houses for uh, re people that say uh, re reuse them and I keep popping things here. Some are from home as well. And then we find any materials we can, uh, like this, canes, anything uh, for the uh, wildlife uh, to take refuge uh, over the, uh, the winter, winter months and the summer to hide from predators another wheelie bin that was uh, thrown out or dumped uh, come on focus which I put all my comfrey leaves in and all I don't mix it with water just let the actual natural juices run out the bottom and I collect those and we collected uh, 20 litres this year and those containers are the containers that you get the add blue that you add to your vehicles repurpose those when I took on these allotments there was those galvanized tanks here some were uh, good those two were okay but they're now hold and uh, losing uh, water uh, those buckets are ideal they come with tarmac in there they're disposed of only single use there's my cardboard supply uh, is this this is the tank that had actually got the holes in this is my giant wormery again we collect all the juices uh, i use that on the wood chips i've got to be careful with this because i broke it last time and there's one of my friends excuse me disappear see i didn't run away like a girl but as you can see they uh, do log it in here there's a hole just there and uh, some of the uh, beetroot are growing but they will uh, find refuge and uh, I do battle with the rats um, in the spring for now they can sit in that bin and turn it for me as you can see we've got lots of these blue containers this setup isn't fully operational yet where this one is so the water comes in there goes into this tank and then it siphons from there to there from there to there right to the end and as soon as we've cleared up um, this area on the floor we can add uh, a few more barrels this way I haven't got to book it from that one into that one into that one it does it all itself I'll be able to complete the other barrels now now I found this uh, this was put in the uh, I think it was the recycled area of our allotments I can certainly make good use of that. I've left it like that because those are kinked, so hopefully they'll slowly straighten out. So this is my gravity-fed wick guttering system. So this barrel gets filled. In the spring, we'll turn the tap on. 
uh, the, we'll check the float make sure it's working the float fills the guttering up and all these containers have got wicks in which go into that guttering the containers are from my finds that the uh, cannabis growers unscrupulously dump and these are lamps lampshades street lamps from the 1960s um, and uh, I saw those in the skip I thought well what can I do with those but I've found them really useful on my allotments as well as my uh, viewers will you know my regular viewers my long-term viewers will know uh, these have done really well for me and once this barrels full I hardly have to ever do any watering other than top this up when it's needed leaf mold bins made out of pallet collars polycarbonate sheeting is an allotment uh, gardener's uh, friend and there's my homemade trommel uh, there's a video on that I'll see if I can find it and I'll pop it on the uh, end screen but I use uh, a, um, a mobility scooter which is uh, sat over there in the middle of the screen to, uh, to drive that using the, uh, the solar power that's saved in a battery you may have noticed but I put all my raised beds onto concrete to keep them up away from the wood chips and then line the inside to try and make them last as long as I can and this here is one of the uh, bigger finds that uh, I uh, collected as 3,800 litres of uh, found compost these plastic sheets were from one of the uh, major companies from uh, our town um, and they they were in a skip got to be 30 years ago and somebody had the good thoughts of actually uh, bringing them down here and they're all over on uh, our allotments site they make an excellent uh, weed barrier and it's given them an extra 30 to 40 years of uh, life so we move on to plot three again another pallet gate wood chip paths and these slabs uh, were recycled by the previous owner but uh, kept getting weedy and having issues with weeds coming from um, uh, the opposite um, plot holder from years ago I stood the slabs up buried them and that's made a perfect uh, barrier uh, and uh, something to work up to now it's been uh, taken over by uh, someone else again here some more of the plastic that uh, somebody thought about saving here's some more of the strops this uh, cage uh, cost me about 100 pounds uh, to build originally but i did re repurpose and reuse some of the the brackets that the uprights uh, sit on and uh, it's uh, it's done me proud we try and get free scaffold planks if we can very difficult these days we get leaves for nothing excellent uh, for mulching some redundant signs these uh, keep my uh, worms covered up and they've dropped down nicely now so the worms are enjoying themselves there those wormeries the worms uh, feed out that one I'll feed there, the worms will know there's food there, so the worms will wriggle across, we and poo on the way and feed the asparagus as they go. He says hopefully. Again, more of the containers that we've recycled, repurposed uh, for our uh, fruit uh, bush cuttings and some comfrey that uh, we had and some gooseberries there. Uh, these buckets, these trugs, trogs, whatever you want to call them, you tend to find them lying on the verge where they've blown off a vehicle the laws are more strict these days and so you don't see so many about but we've got those trays as well we've got that one there uh, I, I think I uh, acquired this one from somewhere else it's more like a tree bucket that people use uh, for the potatoes etc but uh, everything comes in useful Oh, gum, that branch has come a long way. That's off that tree. These uh, netted cages are a godsend. And uh, I'm not sure whether I can lift that up. 
but the actual metal was uh, a find. Somebody actually dumped some of the rebar uh, in a lay-by. I just couldn't believe it. It's got scrap value. Why dump it? I, I, I'm not sure. But anyway, that's come really useful to help support these and give them their shape. These are where my carrots are. They're really enjoying uh, the mulch to keep them warm and the plastic uh, to keep them dry. So hopefully we'll be harvesting those uh, well into uh, March, he says. Hopefully the same with the uh, sprouts and hopefully the purple sprout in broccoli will come uh, February, March time. These uh, wire gabions, uh, one of those was damaged going to be thrown away I thought well I can make use and straighten out makes ideal uh, piece supports the green manure is doing really well it won't be long before we chop in and drop in here's some more of the loft water tanks they've got the wicks going into those drums there drawing the moisture up we had m lovely carrot crop last year that's one of those plastic sheets with all those different designs on, but I'm not sure what they were used for, but it doesn't matter. Uh, this here, I think there's about six and a half thousand litres of water uh, being collected, and that's just off the polytunnel. So we've got the polyton uh, the guttering attached to the polytunnel, and all these are uh, have got the, the pipes in. These are going to be moved onto the other allotment to help with... Uh, some watering but all these barrels are all nicely connected and uh, of course full and overflowing very unusual for this time of the year and uh, most of the guttering on this allotment is all recycled from when people change their fascia guttering i try and get the full lengths when i can but i have had to purchase some which you'll see shortly but all the connectors, all the brackets and everything else is what's normally uh, taken off a house and replaced with new. If, I'm, if you're lucky enough, you can grab them and uh, repurpose them to collect rainwater. Another great use of the polycarbonate. Collects uh, quite a bit of rainwater and keeps my pallet bin compost holders nice and dry so this is where the leaf mold normally goes in this is all my compost that we made earlier on in the season in the potatoes etc it goes in there and at the moment while I can find the compost this is the compost with the added perlite and this is the compost we find that uh, is just got the uh, cocoa koi as you can see lots of buckets and uh, some fridge trays there they come in handy for holding some of uh, our vegetables and all these fronts have been uh, made out of pallet collars. It's nice to be able to uh, slide them out to get access as you work down uh, your collected uh, compost or made compost. Always have a few bricks on your allotment and you can build yourself a nice uh, rocket stove. Again, we've got some more nice green manure here. That's where we did the test. And at the moment, I don't see uh, any, uh, any difference anything this one as you can see there look this way halfway they're romping away so hopefully my manure that I've collected is good I've got an IBC in there a thousand litres the spouting off this roof goes in the back of it there's some more galvanized containers there's another galvanized one there um, I've given them a good extra life instead of scrapping them lots of materials went into the uh, bug hotel and we get visitors all the while and we can make the odd mushroom out of an old log that we found to make it look pretty and sometimes the compost comes in these cloth containers they're quite expensive to buy but if you know where to look and how to look and there's the trays that they sit them on absolutely ideal to reuse and of course I've got to get my <laughs> recycling area sorted so we've got lots of plastic containers that we've got from the shops uh, cardboard rolls that we uh, plant uh, the beans in uh, yogurt pots that we use uh, to set our seeds in and uh, create the little mini greenhouses I'll see if I can find that video for you 
and lots of old tools that we've found that sometimes uh, we do find useful even though I'm pretty well uh, no dig now we've even got a kitchen sink that I'm going to connect up differently and we've got the Belfast Belfast sink to replace it that's never going to uh, rot or disappear I struggle to carry it more little mini wheelie bins I've used these uh, for my uh, long routes and as you can see there we've got more cardboard and there's my potatoes that we grew during the summer that are in storage and there's that uh, find of the uh, the guttering wick wick containers for the uh, grow bags that was always a, that was always a useful find ice cream tubs more containers paint that people have thrown away and a gardener's breast for end uh, the mushroom trays and there's one of the uh, little mini greenhouses doesn't normally have the uh, bottle top on to let the uh, air flow but there's the top of the yogurt pot that uh, one litre fruit juice bottle fits in nicely so that's just a little insight to my new subscribers uh, leave me a comment thumbs up or a thumbs down for the interaction and why not consider subscribing gardening never stops for me it's not just a spring and summer Happy gardening to you all. Till next time, my friends. Giraffe and air.